A common best practice in Vue is to add a key attribute when we use V4. But why do we do this and do we always have to add a key? In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive. To understand this, first we have to know a little bit more about Vue's rendering system. Like some other front-end frameworks, Vue uses a virtual DOM, which is a JavaScript representation of the DOM of our web page that Vue's renderer converts into real DOM nodes. From a high level, our template gets compiled into a render function, which returns the virtual DOM tree, which, when mounted, becomes our actual DOM. Then when a dependency changes, we get a new updated virtual DOM tree that our renderer will compare with the old one and make any updates to the actual DOM. By default, Vue minimizes element movement when updating the actual DOM. Instead, it will perform what's called an in-place patch, where it'll make edits to the elements in their current place to reflect the new state of our data. Let's look at an example where we have a ref that contains an array of products. In our template, we'll create a div and say v4 product in products, and inside we can print out our product.name. We'll also create a button that when clicked cause a function called reorder that will just cycle all of our products. And this works as expected. When mounted, we get three divs. Then when it's reordered, the divs don't actually move, but instead the text of the product that name gets patched on each div in place. While not having a key doesn't cause any problems in this example, let's say that in each div, we also created a number input for the quantity. If we type a quantity and then try reordering, that 50 doesn't move with shirt. And that's once again because the whole div isn't moving, but rather this text is being edited. A good way to visualize this is to inspect element and notice that whenever we hit reorder, all the elements actually stay. The only thing that changes is this text. And this is a case where we need key on our v4. Key is a special attribute that gives hints for Vue's rendering algorithm to identify and track V nodes across different renders. With key, we can track each node's identity. So instead of an in-place patch, it will actually reorder the V nodes based on the order of the keys. Essentially, it provides a link between the data we're iterating over and the virtual nodes that our V4 creates. So we need a key in our V4 whenever we're using stateful DOM elements like inputs or if our V4 contains child components. Any case where we want our V node to be moved as a whole requires a key. For example, if we're using transition group to animate the reordering of our list, it's going to need a key prop since we're actually moving the element. For simpler cases like that first example where we were just printing out product.name, key won't necessarily impact the functionality of our v4, but it's still a best practice to always use a key when we can and then make exceptions on a case-by-case -case basis. I hope this video helped you understand why using key is a best practice in Vue, and if it did, it'd mean the world if you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.